Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we are going to talk about dependent combo box. How we can create dependent combo box, all these things we are going to learn in this video. So here you can see we have one form. We are going to create this form, right? We are going to design this web page application where the first LOV will have in the department details. So whatever department user will select based on the department only, the second LOV, the combo box, will be showing or listed all the employee under the department. And whatever employee user will select based on that employee only, it will show the tabular form data. So all these things we are going to implement. So let's begin and we'll show that how we are going to implement the dependent combo box with the dynamic value. So let's move to the part. So this is our visual builder application. So in previous video, we have created an application, that application having the combo box and based on that combo box value, we are displaying the table data. Now here we have to add one more logic to make dependent LOV, dependent combo box. So here again, I'm going to create one more page. So I will go and create a view page and it will give the name as page, page name as dependent LOV. Click on create. So new page will be created and I always prefer that whatever new page having all these details, I remove this one and I will start from zero. So now first we have to add the heading. So I, go, I will go to the component and I will search the heading. I will drag the heading here, give the heading name as employee details form. Change the heading level to five. Now done. And here we have to add the combo box. So before going to add the combo box, I will add the form layout so that we can maintain the layout and all. And here, once we load the form layout, I will change that as a label to H. Why we have to change this label is to a start. I will show you. So suppose here we are going to drag the combo box. Combo box one. So once we will drag this combo box one here, you can see the label of this combo box is inside this box. So if we want to make this outside, select this form layout, go to the general and here we have the label age. Select this label as a start. The same we have to select another label, combo box. So now these two combo box added here. So first change the value. So now I want to go to the general and here hint I will change to department. And here we have to second for we have to go for the employee. And now here we have to set the data. So if you will see the page, this is the department. So whatever department user will select this department will be passed to the second LOV and based on this department we pass, it will show the employee. So here we have the validation or filtration of the department, right? So here we will select the combo box, go to the quick start to add the data. Okay, now here we'll select the We'll select the combo box, select the add option and here we have to select the business object. Once you will select the business object, go to next. And friend, remember, whenever we are going to select the business object, uh, select the business object in the combo box, it is asking for the value. Label the value, it will display here, right, D001. And value is the actual value, whatever will be the behind of this value. So in this case, we have to use in both case, the label and the value should be department only so that the same value we can pass to the second LOV, right? So here I will select the department as a label and the same department I will use as a value. Here we have the placeholder. So this placeholder will be something like if we have not any value, what will be here? So I will give the name as select department. So now go to next and here you can see we have the target as get all employee BO. This is the end point. If you remember, whenever we are creating the business object, each and every business have object having the end point. So this get all end point is going to use, that is the rest call is going to use to list down all the employee, right? All the department from the business object. If you want to add any filter, we can add filter. So while working with the table and the LOV, I, you have already appeared about this filter, right? So I don't want to make it right now anything, go finish. So now you can see the one is created. Now here we have to create the second LOV. The here the second LOV in a starting if you will we will map that with the data. So select the employee and here what we want to show here we want to display the employee code. And this employee code if we will select the employee code. So based on this employee code it will display the details display the details in the table. So based on this employee code right we will pass the employee ID to this ID to this table. So here the value, the label will be employee code and the value will be employee ID. So that same ID we can pass to the table filter and it can show the only the employee details for that ID. 
so here i will select the id as a value placeholder will be select employee code go next and here you can see the filter criteria if we will not add any filter it will show all the data available in the available in the business object so right now we will make the filter so that it will not show any data so in filter i will select and what filter we want to make we want to make filter based on the department so that we can map the same y in the first lov i will map this equals and here we will provide the minus one so that it will be false always and whenever form will be loaded this lov will not have any data because of the filter we added so let me run the application so that i can show you the show you the value populating here So now you can see right now it's page opening the previous page as default. So we have to change the default page. So for that, go to the application, web application, select the application here, main, the flow, and here we have setting. And in the setting, we have to select the page, default page as the dependent LOV flow. And we selected, go to the diagram. Again, if you will run this application, it will display the latest page right now. You can see it will load the new page we added in the default page. You can see the employee details and once you will click here you can see it will list all the department present in the department lov and here once we will click on this employee it will not show any data because we have make the filter right filter department as minus one that's why it's not able to see your data so what logic we are going to perform whenever user will select any value this department should be passed to this employee filter right so here you can see we have one event on the combo box right so here we have to go to the page design. If you will go to the design, this is our combo box and on this combo box action only. So whenever user will select any value in this combo box, we have to, we have to change the filter of this employee. So in starting, we have make the filter as minus one. So here you can see if the combo box employee department combo box we selected, what data we have go to the data and valuable name you can see employee bo list sdp and if you will go to the employee combo box the data will be employee bo list sdp2 right and these two variable you will be able to see in the variable so once click here you can see these two variable and if you will see the variable employee list bo list sdp2 this is the variable showing for the employee page employee lov and if you will see the filter here we added the filter minus one here so that it will not display any data in starting here you can say department equals to minus one and which department it is if you will go to the code you will be able to see here sorry let me more open this one bit more select here if you will see here you can see the filter criteria filter criteria for what second lov second uh, service data provider sdp so you can see this is the employee bo list sdp2 dot filter creation dot value is equals to minus one this minus one we have to replace at runtime when user will select any value when user will select any value in the first lov so in the first lov we have event right so we know that once you will select the combo box go to the event here we have one event if you will click on this on value on value event it means that whenever user will select any value this event will occur and this event will call this action chain and what parameter it is passing to the action chain you can see the value this is the value behind this department so here in the department combo box we selected label as the department and the value as a department so when this action chain will be called this department whatever user will select will be passed to the action chain here and if you will go to the action chain here you will be able to see in the properties here you can see the value this is the value that value is department so now we have to replace this department in the filtration in the filter criteria of the second sdp right service data provider for that we have to change the variable right so we will use assign in assign here we have to select the variable so what variable that was that was the second sdp employee bo list sdp this is the second variable and inside the variable we have attribute that filter creation you can see filter creation and in the filter creation we have the element that as value that value you can see filter creation dot here we have the op set operation and the value 
so we have to replace this value right so right now the value of this one this variable is minus one so here we have to replace with the value whatever value we are receiving parameters into the action chain so this value we will replace save now here you can see we are done with that so if you will go to the page designer again so whatever value user will select in the department first the same value will be passed to the feature criteria of this second combo box so let me run this application again So now here you can see if we are going to select the department as a D001. So department D001 having the employee E001 and E002. If you will go to the business object, here you can verify the same. Department D001 having two employee that is E001 and E002. If you will select the department D002 having the employee E003. So if you will select the department as D002, it will show the employee as E003. And again, if you will select the department as D003, the employee for department D003 having the E004. So here you can see the E004 created. Now our task is whenever user will select any value in the employee, we have to add the table here and that table should show only the data of that employee. So here we can see we have label value as code and behind this label we have value as the ID. If you remember while providing the mapping the data with this combo box. So here we have to display the table. So here I will go to the component. In component, I will select the table. This is a table. I will drag this table here. And right now, here we have to select map this table with the business object. So select the table here. We have in quick start, we have option to add. So select here. We have to select the business object employee. Go to the next. And here we have to select all the column which we want to display on the page. Of the table so i want to display id i want to display employee code employee name change edge email and department so now here you can see all these value are listed here primary key is id this is the id we will map here right go to the next and here again in the filter if you will not provide any filter here what it will do on the loading of the page it will show all the data so if you will see here click on finish so here you can see when the page will be loaded, all the data will be listed here. Let me run the page. Here you will be able to see the data. So here you can see in the table, we are having all the data by default whenever the page is loaded, right? This is the by default facility features of this table. So we have to restrict this one. So whenever page will loaded, there will not be any data. So for restriction one, we have to find that the data for this table so which data which variable is mapped with this table so if you will select the table go to the data you will be able to see the variable that is employee bo list sdp3 and if you will go to the variable here we have the third variable that is list sdp again i will go to the filter criteria here and in the filter criteria here you can see the filter criteria Again, I have to add the condition here. This time I will select ID because ID is the main we are going to map. ID contain equals to right now I will make it minus one so that this condition will be false and it will not show any data in a starting. Go to the design again. And if you will run this application, you will not be able to see any data here. So now here you can see we selected the department, we selected the employee for department. Now the ID of this employee we need to map here in the filter criteria so that whenever this will be user will select any value here for that value data should be displayed here. It means that we have to create one event for this employee combo box, right? So here go to the select the employee combo box, go to the event. Now here we have to select the event on event and here on event same we have to again map the value, map the value for that filter criteria of that the variable 3 this is the variable 3 and here we have the filter criteria we mapped as id is equals to minus 1 and which id id of this employee bo list sdp3 dot filter creation dot here you can see we have the value is equals to minus 1 and here we have to replace this minus 1 replace this minus 1 with the value this parameters value we will receive in the action chain action chain of the second lob the second employee lob right here you can see the parameters value so click on the action chain drag the variable here and here we have to select the variable so again we will go for the three variable three you can see this is the second sdp 
and that here you can see the filter creation and here we have to say to search for dot value so here you can see we have the dot value select this value and what value we want to assign we want to assign the value we are receiving as a parameter to the action chain the value this value is the id of the employee so here whatever employee code user will select for this employee code we have id and that id will pass here right and now this id we are mapping in the filter criteria so that this table will display only the data having the id as the id of this employee now here go to the page designer we are done with the mapping right so we are able to see the header and now run this page again so now you can see page loaded here we have to select the department so i am going to select the department at d001 and here we have to select the employee so department d001 having two employee that is e001 and e002 so i will select the e001 so whatever employee we will select based on that employee it's reflecting the data here you can see if we will select the employee e002 it will be able to see the employee e002 and if we will select the different department at d002 D002 having the employee code as E003 and it is able to see the E003 data. So friend, this is the simple application we created here. If you have any other queries and you want to ask anything, don't forget to make a comment. And it, it's really great for us to provide you the solution if you have any query. Thank you again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this video. Thank you so much again.